In this tutorial we will practice our surface modeling techniques and we will create this really cool mouse. It looks very simple but it's extremely important to go back to our foundations and practice our skills on such objects. And if you are enthusiastic about surface modeling as much as I am, definitely check out my newest surface modeling plasticity course. We go really deep into the matter of surface modeling. We will create this absolute beautiful helmet design with one 100% surface modeling techniques and also you will learn a ton about the theoretical side of things because it's also super important to understand and learn the fundamentals before jumping into this kind of advanced modeling. Check first link in the description. Let's dive in into our surface modeling practice tutorial. Yeah, check out those reference images. Just go and yeah, just type on Google Logitech M185 and make some screenshots and yeah, we will need the top one and the side one and yeah just rotate it and all that stuff and first of all we go to the front view and we will import a pen and uh, sorry let's go here to the top view import a pen and we will just here import that cool image here and this is fine and let me just bring that a little bit down because yeah then it's not disturbing and press m and just here make it transparent bring it to the front and now what we have to do is we have to create a line here from one side to uh, not to the other one so from one end to the other uh, from one end to the another and also um, select that plane here and bring it a little bit more towards the middle and we need this line here so if we go now to the side view and again import a pen and we bring in this image and press R and R again and with control click um, yeah we can snap it here to 90 degrees and SS because now you see here we have two points and now we can adjust um, the same size here from our mouse so that looks good and let's also bring it here towards yeah the ground and also again select that image and just bring that back a little bit press m uh, front and make it a little bit transparent yeah so we don't need this line anymore here let me just save it so perfect now what we can start so yeah i mean maybe that's not the coolest mouse and all that stuff maybe it doesn't look like a transformer and and, and, and stuff but it's still, you will see it's so, so important always to come back to yeah, very basic stuff and try to recreate it because you will see to still to get really smooth surfaces, it's not that easy, even in, in that simple mouse. So yeah, even that I've created already much more complicated stuff, I still always come back to, to, to those fundamentals. So I also advise you to do that. And guys, yeah, we just need a line in the middle. So yeah, we shouldn't delete the one before, but this is fine. So just create here a line. And now we have to create this shape here, number one and number one, two, and then mirror it to the other side. So um, we will just use a control point curve. So shift F and yeah, if something is too fast for you or you don't understand something, so this is a beginner surface modeling <laughs> introduction video, but not for plasticity. So if you're an absolute beginner, go on my YouTube channel, click on videos and search for beginner. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of free beginner tutorials. Yeah, so snap here to the middle. And first of all, here we have to drag that 90 degrees outwards. So we can't directly go here because we need tangency because we will mirror that over. And yeah, now I will just create a few control points and just, um, yeah, just guess it. And also here go to, towards this point, press shift. So I have this yeah, construction helping line here and I will just snap it. And once again here, so those two points are also yeah 90 degrees towards that Y axis. So it's tangent. Yeah. So, um, now adjust it and yeah again it's it's a, just a tutorial and just a quick practice so i will not do everything absolutely super perfect and yeah this looks fine 
So select that curve, Alt X and X, bring it to the other side. That looks beautiful. And now let's zoom in, Shift F again. And now let's create the second curve again, make a tangent to the middle line. And let's here create some curves. Bring that one here and here. And yeah, that looks really good. So again, just adjust those few points here. And honestly, that looks pretty good. Right click, select that curve, press Alt X and X bring it to the other side. So we have something like that. And that looks pretty good. And I think I didn't do it before, but now I see it. We need, yeah, I think one more curve because those two lines are basically here, those two cuts. So we will uh, need them. Uh, but we need here one at the bottom. So let's just very guess it, but that will be still fine. So shift F go somewhere here and just try to recreate the shape, but make it a little bit more, yeah, kind of more, a little bit more straight and maybe go here and adjust that point and bring that here. So maybe bring that point a little bit outward. So we will, we have to see because we don't have a reference for that. Um, but yeah, later when we will just loft it, we will just see if this will work fine or not. And then we can change that. So yeah, le maybe let me bring those two points here a little bit back and those a little bit more here to top. And yeah, perfect. So now we also need this shapes here from this view. So we can then just loft everything. So this is pretty cool. So we will use this curve and this one will be here the top one because here this in the middle is the most outer curve. So this is this one. So let's start with that. Shift D, duplicate and just bring that up here. And that looks fine. And now let's press one and just adjust all of the points. And here press G and bring all of those points yeah, it doesn't has to be, or I mean, in this tutorial, I will not do it super perfect because, yeah, it's a tutorial, but, and uh, so let's bring those points here and yeah, take some time when you do this. But I mean, with this kind of practice, also, even if I'm just practicing, I do it roundabout because it doesn't matter if I put the point now here or here, uh, the end result. So it's when I do this kind of stuff and especially this tutorial, I just want to show or when I do it on my own, I just want to figure out those techniques, you know, because then when you work on some personal projects, which are like really crazy, amazing, hardcore transformer style kind of product design, I don't know then you can spend much more time, you know, but this is literally just a practice. Okay, so that looks fine. Yeah, that looks really cool. And now let's take this outer curve and shift D and bring this here up and basically do the same. So select those both points and let's try to adjust that everything and bring everything in form. Take those two points and bring them also here and yeah I really like that so maybe those here a little bit more inside because we need here a little bit of a curvature and yeah that those points are a little bit off it's fine so let's yeah let's see and that looks already pretty good and yeah, we don't need it here on the other side because yeah, we will mirror those surfaces over. And yeah, basically then we also don't need that. But what we also need is, yeah, a curvature which goes through those. So let me paint it. So now we need here a curve which establishes this form here, but it has to cross those points. Or we can basically create this curve here and then just adjust those curves to them. So just the points. 
So yeah, let me maybe just uh, show you. So let's try here with the spline curve first and go to this point, go to this point. And now let's just try to establish that shape and go to those and those points. And <laughs> basically that looks already fine. But the thing is you can't adjust now those points. So I mean you can, but you will lose here the, the connection. And so let me go back and also let me bring this curve with G, control click here to y axis to the middle. So if you just, um, how is it called? Um, if you just move one point, you see you break this whole shape. So yeah, here for now it's fine. We could also do it with the control point curve and then adjust the points here like manually. But yeah, just for now that will work absolutely fine. Cool. So now comes the fun part and yeah, I don't know. It's, I'm again getting excited. It's, and I have here an intersection button. It's a bug. Hmm. If you have some bugs, just press control shift R. You see, then you just restart plasticity and then it's fine. So yeah, now I'm excited because now we can start to work with the surfaces. And let's first of all create this one. So select those curves, so we will create here first this light gray part. So select all of those curves and we have to, yeah, loft them, but we have to break this curve here because otherwise, yeah, we can't. So, I mean, we can, I guess, loft that, but you see, we don't have here this curvature and also on the other side and yeah, it's just a G zero. So it doesn't really work. So we have to break this curve here up and yeah, that's very simple. So select that curve, press F, cut curve. So search for cut curve and just select that one here and you see it will just cut here. And now you see it's not working. <laughs> so I don't know why it's not here, not working. So select just the curve and go here to split curve, edge at point and go here and just snap it and select now this curve and Alt J. And yeah, that should work. So all J is you unjoin the curve. So now you have two of them and let's do the so, so the same here, select that curve and here split curve, go towards that point, right click, select that curve, alt J and it's again not working. So let's take this point and just snap it again, closest to intersection and try again. So yeah, snap that. And yeah, now it's working, so that's fine. And now, so what we could now loft those here and add, so again, some issues. So we can't here, so we can loft that, but we can't add those edges here, what we should add. So if that's happening, I'm, yeah, I will just hide this whole curve and press one and just again, just drag one point and control point curve to the another point. So you see how super important it is that everything is interconnected and yeah. So also here, just take one point, control click and snap it back to the point. So now it should work. So select that curve and that curve, press L, shift. Yeah, you see now we have that curvature and that looks fine. But we have to do one more step because, or yeah, because no, that's fine. Because we have here already a G1 tangency curve, then also the surface. So if we select the surface and Alt X and X and just hide this point here and Shift E, yeah, you see everything is super smooth because those four points are already tangent. So we don't have to create here like this thing, what I usually do. So yeah, this is fine. And we have our first surface and that's really good. And now let's bring back this main curve. And now we have to connect those bodies. And yeah, we can't just love that because again, we have no curvature. And I see already we have here some issues. So why is this curve so much outwards? I didn't do that. 
but yeah anyway so we have to delete that surface and yeah guys so if you're thinking oh, now you're going back i have to do that the same guys then you will learn absolutely zero you will have zero success with surface modeling with plasticity this is just the part you know like you and like i don't want to edit that always out because this is so super crucial important and that is just part of the process you know so let's go back here and adjust that curve here a little bit so i don't know why it's it's so out of control here but let's bring it somewhere here and yeah we break a little bit here the shape but yeah we would have to adjust too much stuff around so yeah wait let me let me just select those lines here because i don't want that this line i i want a, a nice curvature so i want from this curve here that it goes like inwards because now this point is more on the right than this point you see so i don't want that because that will just cause problems so let me go here to the top press one and adjust everything so so this point should be the inner one so let's bring that in here and this one just a little bit more outwards and yeah so let's see yeah you see now it should look a little bit better so let's try again to 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 loft everything And yeah, this is fine. Um, I think, yeah, I like that. And yeah, we have here this thing going inside. So now we have to create another cage, maybe two, to um, yeah, create here a surface. So let's do that. And, but here we need this kind of helping construction surface so just press e and drag that outwards and press h so now we have here a surface so it will just go with a tangent from that edge and here we can hide this curve and we can hide this curve and let's just select that surface Control r and just create here a, a cut and also a cut yeah somewhere here and now we can select both of those edges and press f and bridge edge and let's go here to the back view or something and yeah select g1 and yeah honestly that looks really really good already so press ok and now we can start to patch it and see if that will work out so select that edge and that edge and this edge and patch it and it doesn't work Okay, so if that doesn't work, then let's try to loft those edges. Yeah, it works. G1, perfect. And shift click. Yeah, perfect. And now, yeah, you see, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really, really smooth. So, I mean, it's not 100% smooth here, but it's smooth. <laughs> so, yeah, this is fine. Delete this edge and let's do the same here for this hole. And maybe let's try first to patch it. So, select all of them press g1 okay it doesn't work so uh, loft those edges here and add this one and you see you have everywhere g1 and yeah this is fine perfect and because we have here this surface you see that will look tangent if we mirror that over yeah so that looks much better than in the test i did before and yeah, it's still not 100 percent smooth but it looks already pretty good so let's select all of those surfaces press j and yeah look guys and also we will give here some cuts so you will not see here this thing but i really like that all right so now okay we basically didn't need a lot of curves so let's select all of those curves that we really used first and control g and call that group body curves so never delete curves always put it in in groups because yeah it's just as a 
uh, back up and yeah, delete those curves. We don't really need them. So let's loft now those edges, but let's give here a little rounding. So yeah, shift A or shift F and just connect those points here and shift S to subdivide it. So you have this extra point, press GG and just, yeah, create a little here, a little rounding. And maybe let's do the same here. So let's hide those. Let's basically hide everything here. So shift A from end to end, shift S and this point. Okay, so we have to do different. Let's select those points here and bring them a little bit more inwards. And maybe also this point, yeah, it's very much guessing game, but that's fine. So shift A and shift S and GG and just bring a little bit of a curvature, fine. So let's select all of those curves, loft them and give those, add those here too, tap, tap. So you have G0 and yeah, I think that looks fine, but maybe let's bring all of those points here a little bit more outwards. So it's a little bit flatter. I think I will like this a little bit more. So again, select those and love them. Tap, tap, tap for G0. And yeah, fine. So I really like that. So let's add those curves here to body curves. So everything is just clean. And guys, see, that looks Pretty clean, in my opinion, like much cleaner in the test. I yeah, just like this little bump here, but this is fine. So um, here, if you check out, we have here some for our fingers. Yeah, this kind of ergonomic stuff. So that was a little bit tricky before, but yeah, let's just try to recreate that. So go here to the top view and yeah, so you see. Okay, so let me show that here. So if I select that, yeah. So when you look at that, so don't be confused how you will create it. It's pretty simple. It's very, so I don't know if you have some um, experience with Photoshop, but just think it backwards, how the shape would look like if you would add to, uh, to the, to the outer edge, like 100% contrast. So I mean, so that looks like this, you know, and now it's like very, very smooth here everywhere. But in general, it's just this shape here. So we will just cut it this way and then just very smoothly fill it and connect everything together. But yeah, that is just the very basic shape. So let's use that knowledge and bring back here our surfaces and make that image here opaque. And yeah, very, very roughly, let's add here and maybe shift F, go to that endpoint and create here some points. And yeah, we don't need this point. And yeah, you see, so very, very, very basic rough shape here, but you will see that will look already pretty fine. So select those points, maybe bring them a little bit more inwards. And yeah, you, so you can play around with that, but I really like that for now. So select them, J, G, bring them up and C and cut this body. And honestly, you don't need the sheet, but let's control G, just bring it into a sheets group. Uh, because yeah, I don't like to delete stuff and this is our first cut curve. So again, control G and this one is cut curves. So this way we don't need any history or something. So we have everything what we need. Cool. So now we have to create here this little, yeah, indentation whole stuff going inside. So maybe that's a little bit too long, but that's fine. So shift A, just go here to middle to middle. And shift S again and go here to the back view and G and just bring that a tiny bit down. And now let's try if we, if we can do something with that. So select those outer edges and patch holes. And now you should be able, okay, now it's not working here. So we can't add this curve this way. So what we could do, uh, man, I have I have, I think, so let's try it. I have a really cool trick for that. 
So select both of those edges, Shift D and Shift D again and just bring them a little bit with G up. So something like that, okay? And now select both of those edges, curves, press L and loft it. So now, okay, this is really OP trick here. You have to select this surface and this surface and J. And now, if you give those edges a fillet, you see, it's so crazy. I don't understand how this is possible. It will create a fillet with the same curvature of this surface beneath, beneath it. So I, I just don't understand how this is mathematically possible. But look, this is perfect because, um, why we do a fillet is, yeah, I will show you why in a second. So let me just hide those images. But then we have one edge and edge here and then we can loft that. And yeah, because we can't loft, uh, this kind of like sharp edge, you know. So yeah, it will make sense in a second. So let's give here a nice fillet and also we want a juicy fillet. So we just have a little bit room later for smoothness. So right click, man, I really love this trick. It's, it's, I use that so, so often and it just works like a charm. Perfect. So now alt click the surface in face mode, shift X and you see we have perfect shape. And now because we couldn't, so let's try to patch that again and add that. Oh, and it works now. I, I didn't knew that. Because what I wanted to do is, so, I mean, I think we, we get the same outcome, but one is just much more work. So this one here. So if patch wouldn't work, we would just love those here and add this and tap, tap for G0. So you see, it's basically the same. And we would now just uh, here patch that. But if we can already patch that from the beginning on, so let's do that. Okay, cool. Again, I love making tutorials because exactly of that, because the way before I didn't try that, but I love to just try a little bit of different things in tutorials just to show you and just to experiment, you know? So yeah, <laughs> leave a like and subscribe for that so you don't miss my other enthusiastic tutorials. So yeah, let's patch that and add here this curve. And guys, look, this is pretty cool. I really like this. Yeah, so right click, we don't need that curve. And yeah, now let's try the impossible to fill it that. And guys, it just works. Hmm. It didn't work before. Hmm. That's, that's so interesting. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, uh, okay. So let's give here a little bit of a fillet and now sh press V here to add variable points. And bring one point here and the other point here. And let's increase here the fillet and here also. But we also need to add two more points. So again, V and give here to the middle and make this here much smaller. Okay. But now you see it starts to get messy, even though it looks still pretty good. So we could just maybe add a few more points. Oh yeah, that look. Oh yeah, that would even work pretty good. So press V, add, oh yeah, that looks really good, but man, this is really good. Wow, this is, guys, this is so much better than what I did before, because I did before a little bit of a different technique, but if that works, then I don't have to show you the other one. So yeah, really cool. And guys, that looks so smooth. And you see this, this is the perfect practice like this mouse. And yeah, it's, it's, it's very technical, you know, it's it maybe doesn't look cool, but it doesn't matter. We just want to learn and practice and do uh, our techniques over and over and over and over and over again. And we always want to come back to the fundamentals <laughs> like that one here. Perfect. So that looks good. And let, let's try even more something impossible. What didn't uh, work before, but now it worked everything so seamless so it might even work so shift a first go here to add point and add point and select here and just patch that to create here that that bottom piece and now 
let's select those sheets, press J and let's now very hardcore try thickening a sheet. It works. It didn't work before, guys. Man, this is... Oh man, I, this is just really like a sign from the universe that I have to do those tutorials. It's, look, it's, it's perfect. Because before I did <laughs> separate every surface individually and, and tried to, to, uh, or I connected those and lofted, man, that was so much more work. I mean, it's also good because it's a good practice. But yeah, if that works, why not use it? But see, now, if we would just uh, bring it to the other side and merge halves together, we have here a solid. And yeah, this is our main point when working with surfaces. So we start with surfaces <laughs> and create at the end the solid, you know? So I really like this workflow. So let's continue. We have definitely some stuff to do. So first of all, we need all of those cuts here and, 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 and distances and all that stuff. And also let's um, yeah, before we give it a thickness, let me just give here a nice chamfer because here you see we also have a chamfer. So yeah, maybe you see it's not really the same. So let's just maybe try something very simple. Select, so select that edge here and just offset that. Okay, it works in that direction. So, or no, let's create a line and just make it very straight and cut this body here and delete the surface. And now let's select this edge and press O and try if we can go. Yeah, we can get, go a little bit inside. So yeah, let's do that. That this is fine. And now, uh, now yeah, select this face, shift X. Perfect. So now it should work a little bit better. Maybe we can bring this line a little bit more top. C, cut this body, select the surface here, delete it. And now just loft that with G0. And yeah, you see this is uh, yeah always the same distance. So I like this much, much more. So select, I don't know if that's the same uh, right size, but again, I don't care right now. So J and let's try again to thicken a sheet. And it still works, so this is absolutely amazing. And let's try eight. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I really like that. So, okay, perfect. Then, uh, yeah, let's now split here. So this surface into a separate body, this whole piece here at the top at the, uh, on a separate body and here, because here you also have like three separate bodies and then we can start also to give this whole chamfers and then we will do something really, really, really cool here at the top. Mm, so yeah, select all of those faces here of this uh, middle piece. So yeah, that looks fine. Alt J to unjoin that. So select the top and the bottom piece, hide that. And yeah, now very simple, Alt click this edge and just loft it. But now it's not working it, and it, 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 it worked before. Hmm. So man, that, that was unexpected. So maybe let's try those two loft and it doesn't work. All right. So now we have to do then the extra work. <laughs> yeah. It's like the universe, you know, you can't just sh do always shortcuts. So let, let me try. All right, so this is not working, so let's do it manually. Or maybe let's here delete this extra edge. And let's just really hardcore way and just here delete all of those extra edges. I'm not sure where they are always coming from, but let's try now alt click and patch it. And it's still not working. Uh, but yeah, that will work. So we will select those lines and press L. Tap, tap, G0, perfect. And okay, we have here something. Okay, that looks interesting. Oh yeah, it's be because we deleted a few lines, but it will be still better. So just create a line from Shift A to Shift, uh, so from edge to edge and select that face, Alt J, select that curve and just cut. Okay, it doesn't work this way. So maybe go here to the left view, C, and yeah, exactly, just cut this little piece out. 
and let's see if we have on the other side something like that yeah we have but here we have to do the opposite so select that and shift x delete that and shift a go from that point to that point and let's first try to loft those pieces here at the bottom if that works l tap tap for g0 okay it doesn't work right now so shift a from edge to edge and just here loft that with g0 you have here some little extra piece deleted so you have one long curve l g0 and shift click yeah at that so this looks fine so now let's select all of those surfaces again and press j and now again alt click and just try to patch that and yeah it's again not really working so select those lines press l tap tap yeah g0 that looks already much better and shift click here g0 and also shift click here and also g0 and that asshole is not working okay so yeah then let's just select everything and patch that with g0 you see it's not 100 percent yeah perfect here but it will still work so yeah let's just do that like that and let's go here to the bottom and alt click also here at the bottom and let's try to patch that and yeah here it works fine so this is perfect yeah we have one solid finally alt h so we have this solid here and why i did that so you can now select those edges here and okay let's do different so if you if you select that you see you can now give a nice fillet or a chamfer so this is why we need that and guys i know it's tedious but here you see it's just a simple mouse this is exactly what i was talking about so i mean this video is already taking 40 minutes and it looks like or oh, you don't make progress and it's so tedious but again if you don't do this and if you don't push through the end and if you don't want to learn and do this boring work you will never ever achieve really cool surface designs because look how simple that is and if you don't want to do the work at that simple object then what do you want to do then with like really complex designs and all that stuff you know so here you learn the fundamentals and just trying around and and always find the right workflow right so let's do the same here the cheat shift h and alt click this whole bottom piece here and patch that and it's again not working so let's try to loft those edges without here those end pieces so let's do that press l okay if this whole thing is not lofting then just let's go one line by one line so press l tap tap so it's g0 and just add this one and make g02 so you see this looks fine and let's go here to the next one so this edge and this and maybe this and maybe this let's just try l tap tap g0 and okay so we have to do something so first of all yeah let's love that but we need here an extra edge so select that surface and add here an extra cut so now we can loft those edges with g0 yeah and let's take this piece yeah so this piece here again we have we need an extra edge at this surface so select the surface Control r and yeah just create here so we can select g0 yeah that looks fine and now the last piece should work as well so loft g0 and it looks fine so let's try with four yeah join everything and yeah we have a solid perfect you see so now oh, we should be able to give here a fillet or a chamfer perfect that works so we are making a lot of progress yeah so this is here intersecting but i'm not covering that here in the video because it will already take like an hour or so and now let's just take the last piece alt h and try the low budget way alt click the whole line and just patch that and nice it works here g0 absolutely fine we have three solids and that looks amazing so now we can give here some chamfers so yeah here's a little bit of extra space but 
yeah, it's already taking like huge amounts of times. And yeah, let's give here just some fillets and just move on to the no to those next parts. And yeah, first of all, select this piece and press F and delete redundant topology. So we get rid of those extra edges and put those curves here into yeah, body curves and press two and just yeah, select those edges here. And let's give them a nice fillet. Yeah, you see, so you can do this here manually, just add some variable points. So this one is a little bit bigger. Um, because yeah, without going too advanced and too long now, because yeah, this right click that looks fine. Maybe even more. So yeah, I really like that. And here we can maybe give a chamfer or something. So let's see how that will work out. Yeah, that works perfect. And now we can give here just a very small fillet. Yeah, so it's a little bit just sharper. And yeah, I really, really like that. Honestly. And yeah, oh yeah, obviously give also here some fillets. So we have some nice smooth transition. Oh yeah, beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks really, really good. It's, look, oh my god, look the surfaces. Yes, I know it's not, it's not engineering quality and all that stuff, but I don't care. Because, yeah, dude. So yeah, this is fine. And now let's create here the hole and all that stuff. So pretty simple. Um, but yeah, you can't just cut through, but let's create just here. So Alt Z and go here and go in 90 degrees. So go here and oops, go here. Press B, give it a nice juicy fillet. And now you can't cut this body because then you will also cut or actually no, you can cut. So press C and just cut here this body on the top and just delete it. And let's give here some, or oh, before we do that, um, let's create a new line. So here that will be like this middle piece kind of, and I think we can just go here outwards. So also let's give here, or let's just cut it for now and see what we get. Yeah, so just delete that. Yeah, perfect. So now let's give here at the sharp corners a nice chamfer or a fillet. Yeah. And now we can give here a nice fillet. Yeah, this is beautiful. I really like that. And yeah, now let's bring everything here to the other side. If you want to learn much, much cooler surface modeling techniques, check out my latest course here, the surface modeling course where we'll recreate this helmet here. And yeah, it's by far the best surface course on the internet, not just on plasticity, I think in CAT in general, and especially for that price. And you have a huge bonus part where we go through the whole theory of tangency, continuity, G1, G0. You will do some practices that we will cover and then we will create that absolutely crazy, amazing design. Check out first link in the description for those images and just go here through some yeah, details and just look what magic we will do. And yeah, just absolutely smooth transitions everywhere. You will get a ton of bon bonuses you will learn and achieve a ton with this course. Here, people are really, really excited and satisfied. And I just launched it three, two days ago, two and a half, and already 46 people bought that. So yeah, this is by far my masterpiece. So get it now if you're interested in surface modeling. First link in the description, let's finish here our model. Yeah, let's just go here to the side and create, yeah, very simple circles. It can be a little bit bigger. Let's press GG and just bring that here. So yeah, very simple. Let's just drag that outwards a little bit and give it here a nice juicy fillet. So yeah, maybe you can make it a tiny bit smaller. But yeah, this is super fine for me now. So let's see what we get if we bring everything together. So select that, Alt X and X merge halves together, let it load. And look guys, we have three solids and also do the same here. So we have this result, let's see the shading. And yeah guys, really beautiful and you saw 
maybe not the coolest thing, but really useful techniques. If you read literally want the coolest thing, first link in the description. It's yeah by far the best course on the internet. Right now it's 69. Maybe I will up, up it because yeah, a few people wrote me even that this is way too cheap. So otherwise, check out one of my next tutorials. Leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.